Together. This is Zombie Ammo coming to you live from Sweden. Well, dead from Sweden, actually. We're dead, but alive. Life at that. We're the living dead. As you can see, there are only three of the band members here because our fourth member of the band is off screen. Frida, come! Wow! And let's see those spindle webs. Let's see those spindle webs. There, look at this. Amazing spider web arms. This is Spider Girl. Spindle net. Spindle net flicker, as we say in Sweden. Thank you very much. You can take a little seat now while we continue with the first tune, which is Knowing Me, Knowing You. Sorry, I need your arm to know. Ah. Knowing Me, Knowing You. It's very funny. It's very funny. Knowing Me, Knowing. No, 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 knowing me and knowing you, ah uh ha, -huh. well there's nothing you can do. Knowing me and knowing you, we just have to face it, this time we'll do. Breaking up is never easy, I know, but I have to go. Knowing me and knowing you. But never mind. Welcome to today's show from Life, Life and Dead from Sweden. Yes, look at the beautiful Agnetha. She hasn't she aged well. <laughs> and over here we have uh, Benny. Yes, because I'm Bjorn. I think I've got it right this time. I'm Bjorn, and this is Benny. No, uh, that's Agnetha. Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 that's 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 ah, now we're having a bad argument over yes. this here. Never mind. <laughs> we're going to play some real Swedish music for you because I know that's what you like. It's a wonderful song by. Uh, well, it's a tune by uh, a guy called Eric Ost, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I even remember the record. He's like a real fiddle player. Although he's perfect for the show because he's dead, I think, yeah? Yeah, he's dead. He's, he's completely dead. dead. He's perfect for the show. Okay, it's, it's called Pattern Greaser, which is like <laughs> the pear pig? Yeah, the pear pig. Don't ask me why. They got little sweeties here called pear pigs. It's like candy. It's like candy. It's like sweeties. It's like little... Uh, Little uh, humbugs, old fashioned things, yeah. We were in a shop selling them. Pattern Greaser, here we go. Okay, not too fast, guys. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Slip up by me somewhere in the middle, but nobody saw that. 
Well, we are actually coming to you direct from the Music Huse in Nieble, which is in the middle of nowhere, Sweden, same as everywhere else in Sweden. It's all just a giant middle of nowhere. And this is the music theater where we are going to be playing in exactly one hour for a real gig. Yes, and we have to get changed from our zombie costumes after this into our real costumes, which, to be honest, are not that different. Anyway, we will be playing for a live audience for one hour, and then we will be racing across the square to the train station, literally racing with high-heeled platform shoes across to the train station where we will leap on the train and fly. We will fly, metaphorically speaking, on that train down to Stockholm where we will fly into the airport and fly on a plane back to Scotland. Yes, we will be back in Scotland later tonight because we have a week's tour coming out. I'll tell you more about that in just a little minute. But first of all, we would like to play some nice polskas. These are not polkas, they are polskas with a s. Yes, polska. We like to add the s to a polka here in Sweden. And Jimmy is going to tell you what they are, or one of them. Right. Oh, sorry, not Jimmy, Agnita. She's beautiful. Yes. She looks so much better with the beard, I think. Yes, that's very really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. And the, and the lipstick. <clears throat> yes, that's very nice. Maybe just uh, pull up my trousers while you're telling that story. Yes, uh, three Polskas. Oh. Uh, I show arms and one on my, myself after being attacked by a bird. Ah. A golden flower, more, to be more exact. A golden flower, that yeah, was. Oh, yeah, trans, that's what. Translation for the non Swedish. Flower. Yeah, yeah. Flower in Swedish. Hey, that's. Du polska man har inte med Jürgen Kiefaren. Så här vi går. Tre polska. Jag tror att det är just det där. Men ask him what that means. But I'm not. Okay. But he looks a bit long hair. It's difficult with the long hair. I've forgotten how hard it was to play with hair.
love is great, guys. We should really reform the band. Yes, let's do it. Let's resurrect the band. Hey, wait, this, we were already doing it. We were already back. Albert are back. Finally, after all this, I've forgotten how hard it is doing the show. Even though I'm dead, I, I didn't expect to be sweating. I didn't know dead people could sweat. Luckily, I have some, some handy handkerchiefs here. Oh, my God, they're, co they're covered in blood. Oh, that's awful. Never mind. I will still use this slightly damp with blood uh, handkerchiefs to mop myself down. Oh my God, there's more blood. What? Am I bleeding? Have I got a nose bit? Oh no, it's, no, it's just that it's just that leg I ate earlier. Human leg, delicious, particularly the Swedish one. Wow, we're going to be coming over to Scotland very soon tonight. In fact, and we are going to be playing on Tuesday night in Leith Boat Club. Yes, but don't expect the zombie costumes. Although who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll still be wearing them. We have to rush out of here so quickly. There'll be no time to make to take the makeup off. So uh, we're going to carry on now with a wonderful old-fashioned Swedish tune called Fjallbruder, which means the Bride of the Mountain. Uh, no, not Frankenstein's bride, the bride of the mountain. Is that right, Agnita? Yes, and it's all, oh, 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 yes, it's also, <laughs> it's also a flower, a very rare, rare flower. Very rare flower, like you, yeah, Agnita. The rose of the high mountain. Thankfully, a uh, one-off, like yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, your test is dropping. Yeah, okay. see, I'm trying to uh, correct them all the time. It's in the camera, it's very, dis it's very distracting. Yeah, it is, I Where know. Where to get on top of it? Yeah. Okay, fine. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, and welcome to Learn Swedish with the with your favorite zombies. Okay. Get it up. Get get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up.
Beautiful. Now uh, we have been up to the top of the mountain as it were because we were down the south of Sweden uh, a few days ago in Malmö, which is very close to Denmark. In fact, so close they built a bridge over it. Not that close really, it's about 20 kilometers, but we still built a giant bridge over it. However, we don't have time to visit Denmark. Who wants to visit Denmark anyway? It's flat and boring. Oh no, we're in exciting Sweden with lakes and forests. Uh, it's also quite flat though. And herring. And herring. Oh, the fermented herring. Oh my god, I had the fermented herring yesterday for lunch. Oh, I can no wonder I'm dead now. Yes, I died yesterday eating fermenting herring, as most people do when they attempt it. It's the most horrible food known to man. No. They have a, uh, well, I beat a, it begs to differ, but that's why our beard grows so strong, because you can see, she loves the fermented herring. And it makes the hairs on your chest and your, your chinny chin chin grow. <laughs> By the way, do you like our unicorn behind us? What a, what a wonderful backdrop. Uh, yes, you get it in a tin here, and, it, and the tins last for years, and they, they eventually swell with the pressure of the, the gas coming from the rotting herring. And you have to open it outside or in, on, in a bucket of water to stop the, the foul liquid spurting out and getting you and your friends and family in the eye. And then, believe it or not, once you've, once you've opened the fiendish thing, you actually eat it. I know it's ridiculous, I can't believe it. But I, I did eat this yesterday. Anyway, down in Malmo, we were reaching the dizzy heights. We were climbing the mountain because they put us in a hotel, the Hotel Scandic Triangle, the Triangle Hotel. And uh, we were on the 16th floor. And it was very, it was a beautiful view. We were very high. We've never, we've never been so high before. Never before has this band reached such heights. Okay, we're going to plummet some depths now because this is a really difficult tune. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. It's one that Jamie wrote. It's called, it's called Hippelpotten, which is kind of like. The twiddler, somebody that can't stop twiddling with things and, 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 and fiddling with things until nearly they break them accidentally. So if you know somebody that's a bit of a, a bit of a twiddler, this tune's for you. Anyway, it's fiendishly difficult. Oh, good luck, guys. <laughs>
guys make the make the musical the world of the music go round. It was incredible. Wow, people fought them. We were totally people fought yeah, it out there. Yeah, the people fought out there. Yeah, ooh, yeah. ooh, now I would like to introduce our special little tiny band member guest star. Come over into the picture. This is not actually Frida, but it is, believe it or not, Mira. Say hello to everybody in Facebook land, Mira. You can watch yourself later. Mira is very, very special because she is Agnita's daughter, yes. Yeah. And the strange thing is that Mira calls Agnita Papa. I know, very strange, even very though she's a woman. But these, yeah, this is the modern world we live in. And Mira is very, very important because she is six years old. Yes, six years, I can't believe it. Not only that, but the, she has a tune written for her already. A famous tune written by a famous Scottish accordion player called Sandy Breakin, yes. And it's called Mira's Tartan Staircase because many years ago, when Mira was only two years old, she made Sandy Breakin run up and down the Tartan Staircase, uh, the beautiful Tartan Staircase, in the Dunkel Hotel, which is a very, a very long staircase, I can tell you, because uh, because I'm a very good friend from Sandy Brickin, and he told me he was exhausted after being forced to march up and down this, well, actually crawl up and down the Tartan staircase uh, many times, and while all the poor residents had to wait for us to finish crawling up and down before we could get up and down the stairs. Anyway, we're going to play that tune for you now. It's the last tune in this set, and uh, I will give you a nod, a special nod, so that you know the nearest Tartan staircase. Is that one? Thank you, Mira, for the inspiration for the tune. Here we go. <coughs> Thank you. 
have my elbow. Thank you, little doggy, for sticking with me over through that difficult set. How are we doing? We've got five minutes to go, folks. This is terrible news because we've run out of material. But luckily, we have one tucked up our sleeve, and here it is. It's all about a fjarl, as they call it in Sweden. Yes, a butterfly, a red butterfly. A red butterfly that came and landed on the fiddle bow in a concert in Tabaki when I was playing with fiddler friend Pete Clark, who's actually the reason I met these wonderful other guys in Adler. And uh, it was just gently flapping its wings in the bow, and then it flew away. And it landed on the accordion, unfortunately it landed in the bellows just tragically as it goes to it and squished it, squished it flat. But apparently they only live a day or two anyway, these little butterflies. And uh, you know what? He's still there, still gently opening and closing his wings, just like when he's alive. Beautiful thing. This is called Admiral on the Bow, because it was a red admiral butterfly. This is our last number. I know you'll be sad to leave us here in Sweden. We'll be sad to leave Sweden, but we're looking forward to coming back to Scotland and some very much cheaper prices. I can tell you, no wonder I'm sweaty. I'm going to have to count up how much money I've spent on beer since I've been here. It's probably the same as buying a new car. Yeah. Here we go, Admiral on the Bow. And I think we're going to have some nice dancing to mirror it if she can be persuaded to leave the camera.
tuning in all the way to Sweden here for this week's show and if you heard some lovely backing vocals there that was actually Mira she was singing along beautifully <laughs> to the tunes there and uh, in the previous set I forgot to mention you might have heard her whistling along as well she's incredibly musical far more musical than us uh, anyway thank you so much for watching uh, we're coming to Scotland we're we spoke for the Denver on Tuesday night Thursday night Lee McGregor's uh, bar in uh, Inverness uh, Friday night I'm bopping the Gallic Club in Kilmerton and the Royal Mile in Edinburgh and Saturday night, the last night of the, the tour, we're in Breckish, the Breckish Hall on the Isle of Skye. So if you're anywhere near any of these places, come along and see us. You can find out dates uh, on Facebook probably. Thank you so much. And as they say in Sweden, Hedo, Hedo everyone, Hedo. Wow, guys, that was amazing. Wow, we pulled oh, it off. Oh, where are we? I have to say though, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I can. Yeah, we were wearing white oh. trousers all the time because I had, I had a little accident there. Yeah, was, the stress got too much for me. Oh, uh, let's see what these feel like. Oh, it's not bad. Not it's really not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, so next time I could be Agnita and you could be. Could be. Did you smell your Oh, oh, do you mean the? Oh, I can smell them from here. They're terrible. Yeah, you I, can survive the herring. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, not the herring sauce. Yeah. Oh uh, well, this is terrible. I've got herring, smelly boobies, and uh, and I've soiled my white pants. Thank goodness nobody's watching. Oh no, wait a minute! I'm not turned it off again. Oh, disaster!